Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to put fins on a model rocket. Um, particularly, I want to use the Apogee fin alignment jig, which is this thing right here. Now, I'll show you two ways. I'll show you the traditional way and using the fin alignment jig. So here I have my body tube, and I've already drawn my lines down the tube um, to get ready for attaching the fins. These are the fins that I'm going to use, and these are laser cut fins. Um, and I'll quickly remove them from the fin sheet. Um, see the little tabs right here? You just cut those with a hobby knife. And that releases it from the wood. And these are laser cut, so they should all be pretty precise. Precise in the shape of the fins. That one didn't come out quite right. That's fine. Um, if you look at the edges, you'll see where the the, uh, the little tabs were. Um, to get rid of those, we're going to stack them all together. And when you stack them all together, make sure you um, orient the, the wood grain. So this wood grain is here. Uh, compare that to this edge. And this this edge is going into there. So I want to make sure that they're all stacked up the same way. And I'm going to take a sanding tee or sanding block with some uh, medium grit sandpaper. And I want to just sand those little tabs off to all four edges. And it also takes off the burn from the laser. And you can also airfoil the fins at this time. And um, typically, I like to seal the fins, put the sealer on them before I glue them onto the rocket. But if you're working with kids, sometimes there's not a lot of time to do that. Um, if you want to uh, ro um, airfoil, uh, the, what I would recommend, if you don't have time to airfoil, is just round over that the leading and the trailing edge. This is the leading edge where the wood grain runs parallel to. So to round them off, you just, you just use a kind of a circular motion going over the edge. And this will cut down on the drag and allow the rocket to go higher into the air. I also like to sand the surface of the fins, and I'll just put it on the sandpaper and just do it in a circular motion. And this makes it a little bit smoother. Again, this is going to reduce the drag and allow the rocket to fly higher. Okay, so all the fins are sanded. Um, the method that I prefer to use when dealing with, with wood fins is to do the double glue joint method which means I'm going to put two layers of glue on there before I attach it to the rocket. So I'll put a little bit of glue on and I'm going to smooth it out with my finger. And you can see I'm, I'm taking about 90% uh, of what I put on. I'm taking it right back off. And I'm going to just sit that there and allow that to dry. The more glue you take off, the quicker it's going to dry. And any of that goes over the edge, wipe that off too. And, you, and this is wood glue, so you don't have to worry about it getting on your fingers. Just take a paper towel and wipe it off. So I put it on, make sure it's not coming off the edges. And again, I'm going to let that set, probably about two or three minutes for it to dry. It's so thin, it's going to dry pretty quick. So do that first, and I'm going to pause here, wait for that to dry, and then I'll continue. The fins are dry now, um, so this is where we attach them to the rocket. So I take my fin, unclog the glue bottle. Again, I'm going to put a thin layer of glue on it, just about like that, and I'm going to rub it in. And again, I'm going to take about 
80 to 90 percent off. And then I take my tube. And what I like to do is I like to put the back end down first and align that back middle with the uh, line on the tube and then walk it down kind of like uh, rotating it on that point so that I can line the front edge up. When I got it where I want it, press down hard and the fin should stay right there. Pretty easy, isn't it? Um, the trick to uh, putting fins on is to not use a lot of glue. Glue is not like ice cream. Ice cream is the more you have, the better it is. Well, glue is the opposite. You only want to use a little bit of glue to attach it to the rocket. Later, I'll come back and put a fin fillet on, and that's going to add more strength. Um, and it's going to look like there's a lot of glue on there. But underneath the fin, we only want a little thin layer. Um, now I'm going to use the fin alignment jig. Um, you can put all your fins on this way and um, also sight down the tube to make sure that it's aligned perfectly with the tube and not crooked one way or the other. The fin alignment jig um, makes sure that it's aligned perfectly. Um, I can just slide it right through. And if I got it on straight, it should slide through easily. And I can see that it's, it's kind of rubbing on this end, which means it's not quite perfectly straight, which is the problem with doing it by the eyeball method. Um, so now I've realigned it, so now it is straight, and it does slide easily along the two. So I'll do the next one here. Same type of thing. When you're using the fin alignment jig, you can actually have a little bit more glue on the bottom uh, because the, the, the alignment jig holds it in place. But I'm going to use the same technique that I did before. Take most of it off. This time, I'm going to slide it into the tube. And as I slide it, I'm, I'm keeping it off the tube as much as possible so that it doesn't, all the glue doesn't stay in one spot, you know, being slid over. Okay, so now that I got it to where I want it, now just drop it straight down and press it down. And then I know that this one's on perfect and straight. And then I can do my final fin. The other nice thing about the fin alignment jig is um, sometimes if your line is in the wrong spot, say you drew it here instead of here, uh, the fin alignment jig is going to make sure that it's, uh, all the fins are evenly spaced around the tube. And the purpose of this is so that the rocket flies straighter without twist, you know, without spinning or wobbling. Any spin is going to make the rocket not fly as high because it's increasing the drag. Spin can be good uh, when you absolutely need it, you can use it, but for uh, small rockets like this that you're doing in your classroom or with, with younger kids, um, I like to have them so that they don't spin. You can see I can press down on it with my finger right here. And the nice thing with the triangle edges, um, the thing's not going to roll on you. So that's basically what I do, um, and once they're all on, carefully, 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 you can wait a few minutes to let it dry. I can slide it off. Um, I'm not going to lay it down on the table right now um, because um, they're still a little, they're still a little wet, and they could still be knocked off. Um, I would recommend just leave them in here for about an hour to dry. Um, and then we want to come back and you want to put your fin fillets on. So assuming that these are dry, uh, to put a fin fillet on, and you just take your glue bottle and you run a, a bead of glue right in the crevice there. And then you take your finger, and again you're pulling some out. But you want to inspect the fin and make sure you get it all the way around the edge. See, this time I'm going to roll my finger around that front edge to make sure that I get glue 
right in that front edge there and the same thing on the back. So you'll do this with all the fins. Um, there's not a lot of glue on there, which is, which is good. It keeps the weight of the rocket low. Um, everything's going to be nice and um, strong once the glue dries. And then uh, while it's drying, make sure it's in a horizontal position because if you have too much glue on there, if you stand it up, it's all going to ooze off. So make sure it's in a horizontal position. You can lay it over the edge of your table like that, um, and that will work too. So this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. My name again was Tim Van Milligan. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true. <laughs>